I know what you're thinking. Walter, you're an E85 guy. Why are you about to spend almost $9 a gallon for some racing fuel? Well, if you're an E85 guy, I'm about to explain why you need to get a couple of gallons of this in your fuel system and not be triggered by spending almost $9 a gallon. Stay tuned. What's up my people and welcome to the SN95 Power Channel. First off, let me just say I appreciate y'all. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who's been supporting the channel. You know, the positive feedback you've been giving me, suggestions, tips, whatever. Like I read all that stuff and you know I, I try to respond too. So um, keep leaving the comments, keep being engaged. You know, my vision for this is more of a community, not just, you know, a monologue, me just saying stuff to you guys, but, you know, just support one another in this because one time or another, you know, we're all gonna run into some kind of problem. And, you know, the more information we put out here as a group, you know, it will help somebody else down the line. So let's talk E85. So if if you don't know, it's this thing called um, E85 Goo. If you Google search it, um, or you can check one of my previous videos where I give you an example of E85 glue. Check it out. So this E85 goo is not just a Mustang push rod or modular thing. It's um, kind of a refinery issue that happens. For whatever reason, you get this, um, this E85 goo on like your intake valve and you know it will cause over time if you don't take care of it it will cause the intake valve to become leaky so what i used to do was every year i would run i would empty out my e85 out of the tank load a 93 octane tune and just um, run a tank of um gasoline 93 octane and the 93 octane will dissolve that goo like fairly quickly. But there's some um, dedicated groups out there to like E85 talk. And I came across this one group, I, I wish I could um, find the group. And they came up with a formula and you know, these are like chemists and you know, all of those um, smart people. And they came up with this formula. They said, if you add 12% you add gasoline into your um, tank of E85, it will prevent the the E85 goo. So what I've been doing now is I um, just start this this year. I've been adding 10% of 110 octane to tank on this thing, and there's actually a um, spreadsheet where if you know your E85 content and you know the octane that you add to the 85 and the percentage, it'll spit out how much your actual octane rating is by um, putting the gasoline into the 85. So I think that's um, what I'm gonna do from now on with this car. And, and if we go E85 on that car, I'm not sure of that yet. But from now on, it's, it's a lot easier than just you know, draining the whole tank of E85 and, you know, running the 93 and then putting the 85 back in there. So a lot easier. It's just um, right now I'm at a frequency where it's like every third tank, I would put the 110 in there. And that 110 is expensive. Like my, my hat goes off to you guys who run C C16 or 110 octane. That stuff was like $8.80 a gallon. Does is it more cost effective for running E85 as opposed to the 110? I don't know. It's just the real reason why I start running E85, like in my community, you know, there's the houses are kind of close together and I had a real strong gasoline smell. You know, nobody complained about it, but you know, that smell will get into, I have an attached garage too. So every time I start the car, those fumes would get into the house and 
just nasty smell. So I went to E85 to give that, you know, that kettle corn smell whenever the car is running. So, and probably not gonna go back to gasoline. Like E85 is plentiful around here. So I think that's, you know, kind of a determined factor. If it's plentiful around you, you know, do it. I definitely am a big fan of E85. Um, like I said, it's plentiful around here. I don't drive this car all year, so I don't really have to worry about cold starts until the spring or late fall. But if you've had problems with that E85 goo, leave a comment. And um, if you have some kind of concoction that you use to prevent E85 goo, then leave a comment. So I appreciate your time and God bless.